Hello, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the main event today on game day one, the battle between Korea and Serbia at the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifying tournament here in Belgrade. Well, in the Ranko Zervica Sports Hall, Serbia, winners of the FIBA Women's Eurobasket last year, then making it to the semifinals and finishing fourth at the Olympics, uh, battling it out and looking to keep that tradition going as they try to get to the FIBA uh, Women's Basketball World Cup, uh, which is going to be staged in Sydney later this year. Now, already today, Australia, who have a spot in the World Cup assured as host, uh, they won over Brazil. Oh, a Brazil team that's now 0-1, and, and of course Brazil, one of the rivals of, of Korea and Serbia, as they battle for two of the spots that are available uh, for uh, places in the 12-team tournament, the 12-team World Cup. So uh, some fans, dignitaries uh, coming into the arena tonight to watch events. I'm Jeff Taylor and joined by Shona Thorburn. And how do you, you know, define a great program uh, I guess by your ability to continue to maintain excellence over you know, time, you know, players go, new players come in, you just keep that keep that wagon rolling, don't you? Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's kind of the big goal now of Marina, Coach Marina Malkovich for Serbia. I mean, they're missing six players from their Olympic team. And, and, you know, I mean, Serbia, they're the reigning Eurobasket champions. Absolutely incredible performance by them at the last Eurobasket. Just missed out on a medal to France at the Tokyo Olympics last summer. But now this is, in my opinion, kind of a completely new team. We have some old faces, but we're definitely missing some pretty famous Serbian basketball players who have retired and are not here because of injuries and so on. So it'll be interesting, but like you said, how do you maintain success? With change, you still have to be able to stay at the top, but we'll see if that's what Serbia can do here tonight. You know, really the, the mission is simple uh, for both of these teams. It is to get to the World Cup. You know, more than anything, Serbia, Serbia's women, that is, that is what they want. Now, they would like to do so by winning all of their games, uh, to build some momentum, uh, to keep everybody right behind women's basketball here in uh, the capital. And uh, we know what they can do. We know the tradition. They do have some some great players. Prajnic, Sarvadakic, obviously still playing for coach. Uh, Marina Malkovic, who has been there for all of the great times for Serbia, uh, including at the FIBA Women's Eurobasket, which you were on the call for and experienced that great moment of Serbian basketball. And uh, again, they want to keep the bandwagon rolling, or the wagon rolling. But anyway, Korea upset-minded tonight and uh, ready to go. So we are going to have a pause for the playing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthem of Serbia. Dame gospodo, pozdravite sada i himnu Srbije.
Greg Danilovich, president of the Serbian Basketball Federation, and a lot of other uh, important people here tonight to watch Serbia's women go into battle. You know, it's never a sure thing. The, the men hosted the FIBA Olympics qualifying tournament last summer and did not win it, did not make it. Uh, so uh, they know the dangers, but anyway. Uh, here we have Mikel Maniste from Estonia, Johnny Batista Palermo, and Sabo Rezgui from Tunisia uh, getting the call tonight uh, to referee these games. And Serbia wearing the blue, the blues, and you can see uh, the Serbian fans lining up behind the Serbian flags tonight. And Korea hoping to uh, Make it, make it back to the World Cup. You know they've had some great. You know they had some solid moments in the World Cup before. Uh, you go back a long way to '79, and uh, they were right there hosting it. Sasha Chajo, uh, Alexandra Servandakic, Ivan Anderson, Maya Skoric, and Tina Krajicnik in the starting five. And we'll get a look at Ratsa, Mandic, Stankovic, Nogic, Kavusovic, Katanic, and Georgievic uh, playing for Marina Malkovic. And there is Marina Malkovic, who has been making waves with this national team for several years. and. Uh, I guess uh, decides uh, she still wants to be at the helm uh, to steer this uh, to steer this country to, to even bigger heights than what they've achieved. And for Korea, Kang Lee Sul, uh, Park Hae Jin, uh, Bai Hae Yoon, Park Ji Soo, and Kim Danby, an established uh, starting five. Also, uh, the reserves or the people coming off the bench, Park. Heo Yoon, Lee Choi, Lee and Jin uh, for Coach Jung. So, what is your uh, feel? What's your gut instinct here, Shona, as you look at Young Sun Min, the coach? You know, for Korea, I mean, you want to build on what you did last summer, maybe slightly disappointed at the Olympics, but this is a team that still, you know, they, they, they've been around. They've played, they've you have one of the best centers in the game, 23-year-old, sorry, 23-year-old uh, Jisoo Park. You know, she averaged a double-double at this year's Olympics. So she's definitely someone who can go up against good talent and get you results offensively. Does she have and do they have enough pieces to put together a team that can beat a Serbia team, which maybe isn't as talented and skill as teams we've seen in the past by Serbia. Because like I said, they are missing, I believe, six players from that last summer's Olympic roster. So no more Sonja Vasic, no more Yelena Brooks, no more, well, they've got Nesta Jovanovic, but she had a, an injury herself, which prevented yeah. her uh, from showing up tonight. Dabovic. Yeah, Anna Dabovic is, is, is injured has been as well. injuries. Yeah. So it'll definitely be interesting. You know, like I said, our other games so far this year, it's all about you can get out and get that first win. So in my opinion, if you're Korea, really you have nothing to lose. Because I think people expect the home team, Serbia, to pull off a win tonight. So go out. Go out, give it all you can, and see what happens. So Serbia will home court be an advantage that they're looking for tonight? Will it bring pressure? Usually when we watch the Serbian women play, it really spurs them on. Absolutely. I mean, you and I saw them a few years ago at the Eurobasket here Did in we Belgrade. Ever. And wow, were they motivated by playing at home.
Well, we are underway in Belgrade. The FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup qualifying game between Serbia in the blue and Korea in the white. And Krajnik misses for Serbia as they win the opening tip and attack the basket to the left, but gets the offensive rebound and put back. Good job there by Tina to stay with her shot, follow it, and finish. And the pass down low. Here's Park. Needs no introduction. She's the star of this team, trying to make it back to her third World Cup. And here's Park with the rebound. So Kim has it. And Gamby, a little bit long. Get on the ground for the ball, and now Korea bringing it back up. Park again, Asian gets inside, and good hands by Asian at getting the block. Serban Dakic down to Krajinic, and she goes right at Park Jisoo, who wasn't able to get it. Not sure the ball hit the rim though, so but they did reset the shot clock. Now a foul. I believe there's going to be called on Korea. Well, there's one thing for sure. I'm not sure the ball hit the rim on uh, Krajnik's uh, shot attempt. Krajnik is definitely going to get some looks, isn't she? She's already taken four shots. Three shots. They're talking about it right now, exactly what you're talking about. No, they're not. They're talking about who committed the foul. So. So it is a foul. It's on Krajnik, they call it the foul. So that meant Korea's advantage. Kim Gamby gets it over to Kang Le Sul. Now Kim again gets in and gets blocked. And they're not giving anything in, giving anything away inside. thought that shot was blocked, but the refs are saying no. Here, we'll take a look. Well, she definitely got, she definitely tapped it. it. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. The replay does not lie. Anderson, one of their players who has been around for a few years, a move by the point guard in the paint. Yeah, on balance, how do you rate her in terms of importance to the Serbia team? Oh, I think she, she's Crucial. been absolutely great for them, yeah. There's Park, and stays out. Now she was a young team when she played back in 2014. Here's Sylvan and Park gets after it. Park Haijin and now Kang hits the three. And that's what everybody knows about Korean basketball, how they will drill some of those three balls. Yeah, definitely not shy about shooting early. But again, you know, Kang, she is a big player for this Korean team. If they want to win tonight, I think she has to have a big game. I think Park has to have a big game. Chajo. Boric <laughs> gets it to Krajnik. Give and go basketball there between Sporic and Krajnik. You can tell these players, though, even though I said, you know, this is kind of a new look Serbian team, I yeah, mean, at least the starting five right now yeah, they have were there. played many games together. Yeah. Maybe from a depth standpoint, not as strong. Here's Khan. Great ball movement. I think maybe Park gave up an easy shot attempt under the basket. And so the back is trying to get to the rim. Look at him scrapping away, going for it. And 
Jump ball. Tied up. Possession goes to Korea. has definitely uh, become uh, attacking option number one for the Serbia team the last couple of uh, couple of years. Yeah, At least early on. Traveling gets it back, a double dribble. Been having an absolutely uh, great EuroLeague season for Galatasaray. You know, unfortunately, Galatasaray are not going to be moving on in the second part of the European season here, but she has just been incredible for them. Chacho, three, nope. So, Korea not messing around. Kim hustles, gets it over to Bai, who is, looks like she got hit on the shot and somehow managed to, watch this at the end. Yeah, good body control. Well, she didn't complain, so maybe she didn't. But Yvonne Anderson with a little turnaround jumper on the baseline. Three. Not there for Park. It has a nice flow to it right now. Scorich has it knocked out of her hands. Could be by Korea. And now up ahead on the break. Park decides to bring it back out. Park Hajin. Kim Camby tries to bank it in out there. Neither team really shooting the ball well. Korea, three of ten. Serbia, four of thirteen. They're yeah. good looks. I think they're just missing missing their rhythm. Maybe first game jitters, you know. Not a lot of time together like we've talked about. Park fakes the handoff. Now whips it over to Kim. Count it! The three-pointer for Korea. There they move back in front now, 10 to 8. Nice shot there by Demby Kim. See the follow through and just sail through. Look at the reaction from that bench. And Serban Dakic uh, didn't catch the basketball. And another chance for Korea. Park on the break. Pop! And pop goes the weasel. And just like that, it's a 13 to 8 lead. Korea with three threes. Serbia misses some shots. Servan Dekic here, slow to get back on defense after turning the ball over. She looks a little winded. Both these teams look a little winded. Korea, as you said, shooting the ball well, which they're typically known for. So you got to make an effort, especially after a turnover, to be able to get back and at least guard the three-point line. We don't have a shot. The problem is that we have a shot. We don't have a shot. We don't have a shot. We don't have a shot. And then we have a shot. We don't have a shot. We don't have a shot. Even goal of Essen. The worst scenario, okay. Three, four screens. We're not, we're not going fast, we're dribbling the ball. Either speed up or go all the way. Play one, play two, play three, whatever you want. But play it longer. But in early offense, try to punish them with low post. Give, give the ball down, low post or to drive fast. If not, settle. Hey, se brže nazad. Samo da šutiraju u ranom napad. Well, like I said, neither team shooting the ball exceptionally well. Korea have only one turnover compared to four turnovers for Serbia. We've seen a lot of turnovers early in this first day of competition. 
And, and I think that's just something that you typically see first day of big events. now with an opportunity to try and get a stop. You know, they wanted to come out and start fast, and they have. So it's been a, an ideal situation for them. An Jin has uh, checked into the game. Switching defense here by Korea, Jin and Han another Han turnover. And yes, indeed, it's uh, on the break. Park, hey Jin, it's a back to five. Now Kong Lee Sul. And I think the, the call is coming over the back. Yes, it was on Jen Han. That's a good call. They blocked out there by Anderson. Servadakic is coming out. And coming in is number 17, Jovana Nogic. Again, another player who, you know, has kind of been on that list of 15, 16 players for Serbia, but never really made a big time tournament yet. So she has an opportunity here. Good hands, got it on the ball, and Anderson. Uh, again, boy, Serbia seems to have a sh struggling to get their hands on the ball right now. Yeah, Nogic's 24 years of age, so she's got, you would think, the best years ahead. And also Mina Djordjevic in the game, just 22 years of age. Pulling up and missing from long way out. Park by uh, Von Anderson. Here she is, Jogic drills it! to a timeout for Korea. Good job there by Anderson, pushing the pace, finding an open Jogic, knocks it down. Jovan and Nogic really uh, not even needing a full minute on the action before she drills her first three. There's Sonia Vasic there on the left. And uh, this is her husband's not going to get too many words in tonight. She's out there. <laughs> chatting away because uh, the world wants to, to talk to Sonia Vasic after the kind of year she had, the Eurobasket women MVP. I, I think her Eurobasket performance was one for the ages. But really her career. Her career, yeah, for sure. But I mean. It started as Petrovic yep. and what she overcame injury-wise, you know, it didn't start out as fast as maybe she would have liked. Stuck away and kind of a dream ending, really. Maybe, maybe a better Olympic campaign for Serbia would have been. But you know what? You can't complain if you win a European title your last your last summer with the national team. Here it is. Park in the game misses, and Korea is scrapping away. And I suppose what we'll see right now is uh, a test of the depth for this Korea team with some of their starters now out of the game. We've already seen Nogic hit a, hit a three-pointer coming off the bench, so that's good. Now here's Stankovic setting the pick for Anderson. And then she gets it, passes back outside to Chacho. And that went in and out. Yun Yebin also in the game, number four for Korea. Chajo go out. 
Sinich, number 40, comes in. Also into the game, Kapusevich, number 20. But the ball doesn't drop for Kong Lee Sewell. Foul called on Serbia. Park G Sue cheering on from the sidelines. Good offensive rebound and position there by Anjine for Korea. She's just fighting. I mean, she's an undersized post player, but she's sacrificing her body, trying to give their team extra opportunities. Yoon inbounds the basketball over to Park Ji Hyun. Is by. The Bay misses with that. Five turnovers for Serbia in a quarter, I think is way too many. And I think some of them were unforced. Like you said, it kind of, you know, it seemed they were a little nervous or not quite sure what was going on. Well, I thought, I thought Serbia's uh, reserves, when they came in, they brought a little bit of uh, stability, really. Because yeah. they came in, they were trailing, what was it, by five. Nogic came in and hit that big three-pointer. Yeah, I mean, you know, neither team really has got things going. So it'll be interesting to see kind of who can pick up their momentum in this second quarter. Okay, so let's go through this. Uh, <laughs> National Federations and Sport Director of Team on the right, uh, Jorge Garbajosa. Uh, also, uh, the Spanish Basketball Federation president in the middle. And Billy on the left from FIBA Africa. So everybody's here uh, watching uh, basketball. Big time basketball. Ball knocked out of bounds. taken a poke to the eye. She will stay in. Absolutely not someone you want to see. Go down. Park Jisoo and Stankovic almost came up with a steal. In fact, she does. She forces the turnover. Now Stankovic. 
There's Nogic, and it's a little short, uh, but it was so short that Katanic was able to get the rebound, take it out. Curtis staying with it, Stankovic out to Nogic. Again, Stankovic, kind of the one who's getting things going for this Serbian team, and now she draws a foul on Jin. Remember, it is still, you know, transition. Really, especially for Serbia, they, they've got some players that were there, but they've got some new faces in, and you know, a lot of people wondering how is life going to be without Sonja Vasic and Elena Brooks, and also Nesta Jovanovic and Anna Davovic, who aren't here, but they have not retired. They're just not at this event because of injuries. Possession by Stankovic, and she is just causing all sorts of problems for this Korean team. What a great job defensively she has done on Jisoo Park, number 19. Standout player for this Korean team. And the charge. Good stop in time before she made the pass to Jin. take Park out, which she just did go to the bench, this Korean team becomes really small. Right. There's no real interior post presence. And it's not even a matter of Park, how many minutes she plays in this game, but you've got to keep her around uh, because she's going to have to play two more games. Yeah. So you have to balance that. But again, if you can win tonight, you go for it, right? Yeah. You don't want to, you know, save it for the next game or the game after that. And Dan, uh, Kim Danby off target. Serbia, see if they can take the lead. Yvonne Anderson gets in and earns a trip to the line. Serbia so far have picked up their defensive pressure a little bit more early in the second quarter, but they're still having a tough time uh, finding their rhythm offensively. And Yvonne Anderson doesn't help as she misses the free throw. Adding uh, to a little bit of the nerves that you can feel here in Belgrade, but uh, Stankovic has given them a lift with the defense and her rebounding, and Ivan Anderson again goes up and is blocked, and she gets it back to Stankovic, who then misses the layup, and again they get it back, and finally they get the basket. So persistence paid off, and Kapusovic hit the bucket, and now the wells dry for Korea. Serbia putting some full court pressure on, which has actually led them all easy layup for wow. Absolutely. Put it up and in, and you start to feel Serbia getting the grips with things, and it starts with the defense, as you said. Oh, boy, what a pass, but... Uh, Kong... Tried to put up a crazy reserve uh, reverse layup. Yeah, they've had good looks, Korea. Like you said, the well's just gone a little bit dry, and they're having a hard time getting defensive stops. 
no good. Oh, just, yeah, look good with that pass. And Stankovic didn't really go up strong with it, but him in defensively and forcing uh, Jen to turn it over. So Park is going to have to come back in. So these two teams uh, will get a day off and will not play again until Saturday. So I don't know if that figures into the thinking, but, but also that, you know, that's going to be their biggest, possibly their biggest game going up against Brazil, you would think, for Korea. Yeah. Anderson, if Serbia do end up win this game, winning this game, and I think everybody expects that, but so far it's, uh, it hasn't been so straightforward. Chajo for three. And all of a sudden, Serbia putting a little bit of distance between themselves and the team from the Far East. Yeah, you can feel the momentum swing here. If I'm Korea, you need that woman right there, Park, to be a little bit more aggressive. Oh, but what a block by Stankovic. You can't say enough about her defense. No, really. Uh, since she, you know, she didn't start the game, but since she's checked in, she's done absolutely great things for the Serbian team. And now the drive, the easy layup, and it's all because of Stankovic. Great job. I think more than anything, you know, I know she's scoring Stankovic for Serbia on offense, but she has done an excellent job on Jisoo Park. I mean, Jisoo Park has not had an easy look since her first basket early in this game. Messaging home, leave dinner out, I'll be back later. Everything is fine, Serbia leads by nine. <laughs> we'll get back in touch by halftime. <laughs> Love your daughter. Live action and serve a docket. Excuse me, uh, Park falls down. And here is Kong and kind of forcing up a tough shot. It goes out of bounds. Again, well defended by Serbia. And really, I mean, Korea having very hard time scoring. Haven't scored in this quarter yet. Bounce pass, Krajnik. And Park rebounds to miss. Kahn for three. And you feel like right now that they get those open looks, it doesn't matter. They're just going to take them, even if it's not in the flow. Shoot or shoot. <laughs> and this, and now another chance for Korea. Kapusovic. Park bumped by Seven Dakic. So Korea has have, uh, yet to score. It's been quite a drought for them in this second quarter. I think they've had 
okay looks. I do think Serbia picked up their intensity on the defense <laughs> to begin this quarter, and it's affected them, and they've had less open looks, but they're also settling for, for shots outside. Have we seen them really attack the basket and have a good look inside? And really, with Serbia, we've seen them, what, they've had a couple of possessions where they were able to uh, get three or four offensive rebounds and ultimately get get points. Yoon drives in, and another chance for Serbia now to go to double digits in front, double digit lead. Anderson has it knocked out of her hands. Well, this is a way to get some points off turnovers. Park back to Kim. Park from the right. Oh, they desperately needed that three points. The crazy thing is, they haven't scored in six and a half minutes, and they're only trailing by six. Yep. So Serbia's offense is not operating like a well-oiled machine either right now. No good. Well, there you go. Her second three of the night. Nothing uh, more deflating for a team like Korea to hit a three only for the other team than to answer with a three, especially when you're trailing. Good hustle down the floor, but a foul called on Chacho. Substitution as Ivana Ratza comes into the game for Servan Dakic. And when things are not going well for you, they do not go well in all aspects. So, free throw missed by the veteran, Kim Danby. Makes the second. Very similar to some of the other games, this final two, three minutes of the first half is just so important for the team trailing. They can't allow the opponent to pull further ahead. There's Krajnik, it gets inside. Well, it's a tough move, but fortunately for Korea, it did not drop. However, the ball went off of Korea. I think she's had some wonderful moves and moves that you know you've seen her finish her entire career. Tonight she's just having a hard time scoring. Oh, great play for Aishnik. Dammy to park. Almost dragged her foot. Serbian crowd certainly felt like she traveled. Kim Dampy, tough finish. Scoring over Ratsa. Great job there by the captain of this Korean team. And now comes up and makes a steal. So two straight baskets as uh, Reed, the little life. Two good players from Kim Danby. See, she goes up, and the easy layup. Chajo rolls and is fouled. She has a couple of free throws. So this uh, Ranko Zervica sports hall right now, a little quiet after the two baskets by Korea. I think the fans want to see a good game, but they also want to make sure that their team wins. <laughs> Do you feel they're a little nervous well, they weren't. right now? Remember, they weren't at the last FIBA, bas FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup in Tenerife. They missed it, didn't they? They did. Which is a little surprising when you consider it. Everything that they've got. If
surprising when you consider the, su the success they've had since. 2016, they were bronze, and yeah, then they didn't the even qualify the year after at Eurobasket to, to even right. participate. Park on no-look pass. What a play to you. Good job. Great movement there by Korea. Minute 14 here. You really need to get a couple stops and a score and be able to go into halftime. Within striking distance. Exactly, within one or two possessions. Nogic spinning her way in and fouled by Kim Danby. No, it was Park Jae-yoon who, who called for the foul, not Kim Danby. Serbia in bonus, so we're going to get to go to the free throw line there. So I believe the foul was called on the pass. Nuggets has definitely provided uh, some scoring since coming into the game, and there she almost uh, forces a turnover. Yeah, no good, seven points in just under 10 minutes of play. And like you said, she came off the bench, had those two big threes. She's got eight points now, in fact. Yep. So she's leading the team. It's scoring. Yoon breaks the defense, gets in, uses the backboard. Park rebounds the miss. And three point shot is good. Great play by Park Hajun. Wow. Well, they had missed an easy two point shot there by number four, Yoon, but Park was there for the offensive rebound, kick out. And I guess a three is better than a two. And now they get another steal. Park waits for her teammates to come down. Oh, almost a travel there. Kim Danby puts up a tough shot, and they crash the boards. It goes out of bounds. So about a 10 second difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Park back to Park Jisoo in the reach. Is what we call on the ground with Price Nick. Korea was arguing that that was, uh, she was already making her move. Uh, she was still dribbling the ball when uh, second personal foul for Price Nick. So she's going to go out and not take the risk picking up her third with just 20 seconds left. So Nogic's offense, Stankovic's defense has made a huge difference. Yeah, two of their bench players. The shot blocking now. Ooh. Almost a turnover. And they get bailed out at the end with a foul called on Rapsa. Now it's going to be two free throw attempts for Korea. You know, it's one of those, you're in a good situation. You're almost forcing, let's see here. Oh, yeah, she. she it's an easy foul call by the referee. <laughs> Even there, you, you saw uh, Ratcha complaining. I mean, you, you've almost forced him into a turnover. If not, it's going to be a tough shot because the shot clock was winding down. You don't want to take a foul like that. So they have definitely pulled themselves right back into it. Down three points now, and this becomes uh, a dangerous moment for Serbia if they turn it over. The way this has gone here, you wouldn't bet against Korea getting another turnover and another shot. And Jeff, let's not forget, Korea hadn't scored a basket until under six minutes of play. Oh, nice move! Oh, that was a beautiful play. Not going to even attempt a great play, drive pass Anderson. He goes Stankovic, who finished. And five.
five point advantage. Serbia having to battle away here, but they are on top 35 to 30 at halftime over Korea. And yeah, you know, offensively, it's been slow for both these teams, but Korea, look at that, 5 of 10, 50% compared to just 33% from three point range for Serbia. That's really what's kind of keeping them in the game. For me, uncharacteristic, 10 Serbian turnovers, only five for Korea. But Serbia absolutely out-rebounding Korea in this game. 29 rebounds to only 15 at halftime, Jeff. Well, Karajnik uh, took a lot of uh, shots early. Korea, though, started to uh, make some plays, and, well, they led for quite a long stretch. Yeah, they did. I think it was, uh, you know, the defensive intensity that Serbia came out with in that second quarter that really put them ahead. And I think the first basket came with three minutes and 45 seconds left in this quarter for Korea. But in that, you know, just under four minute stretch, Korea ends up scoring 15 points. So you do a great job for six minutes, more than six minutes, and then you give up 15 points in the last, you know, four minutes of the second quarter, I'm sure. If I know Coach Malkovich, like I think I do, she's not going to be too happy about her team's defense at the end of this second quarter. And right now, I mean, it's only a three-point game. Sorry, a five-point game. You would have felt like Serbia would be winning by a lot more, but they're not. And it's really anyone's game right now. So as... You know, the, the winners of the FIBA Women's Eurobasket, there might be some that say, I wish we just qualified by winning that tournament. Um, and that would take the pressure off, and at least you'd know you'd be there. But on the other hand, you can look at it like, hey, this is an opportunity for us. And you can say the same about France finishing runners up. For us to now take some new players, get them involved, see what we got, let them have some big experience. I know that Coach Hewley was talking about that for uh, Nigeria after their game, I was I was going to play these girls because they need to get experience. So, again, I think that is a concept that has to be grasped by a lot of people. They're like, uh, it, they, they think that Serbia and France are going to qualify automatically. Why do they have to go through this? And they probably will, but it is an opportunity for them to get some of these other players some, some much-needed experience. Yeah. I I absolutely agree with you, Jeff. I mean, we also saw Brazil giving some of the, you know, his younger post players an opportunity oh, to yeah. get some more minutes where they might not have had had Dos Santos and Dantes been here. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands, Time to make your move. All eyes on you. All hope. All heart. Because when you win, you win for all. She's off to the races. 
she passes it off to Tevich. And a nice fast break basket there from Bosnia. And you see the emotion early in this game. Look at Mel Lefat, Ayokuko! Pretty pass by Sammy Wickham. Jane Melbourne is absolutely loving it. The 19 year old enjoying being here. Musa sees Elder Dow in that low post decides to give her a behind pass. Elder Dowie nails that perimeter, Jay. And what a play between Musa and El Gadawi, the no look pass for the shot. So Yovana Nogic didn't start, but boy, did she make an impact. She wasn't on the floor for even a minute before she hit her first three-pointer. And then she ended up hitting another three. Stepping back. So as Serbia think about what they're going to be doing moving forward, uh, following the departures of some of their legendary players, the retirements, uh, certainly Nogic has a chance to, to play a big role, you would think. And for Korea, well, Kim Danby is, uh, she's got 10 points, and she had a little burst right at the end of the first half that really kind of like brought them back. Yeah, she had that great take, then she came up, the, the defensive possession after steal, which led to a fast break opportunity. There you saw it. And like you said, you kind of felt like Serbia could have opened the gap, maybe developed a 10 point lead going into halftime. But she's the reason, in my opinion, that Serbia only have a five point lead right now. That was the big steal there. One of the big steals.
World Cup. Yeah, exactly. So Serbia returned to the court to take some warm-ups. Korea already out. And are we going to see a swarm of defense from Serbia to really try to uh, uh, kind of seize control of this game? Maybe some full court, famous full court pressure. pressure. Remember the old days, like when they had Milica Dabovic and Anna Dabovic <laughs> wreaking havoc in the backcourt? Wreaking havoc. I mean, either of those players would end up with the Dabovic sisters, you know, six steals or five fouls. <laughs> but yeah. that's how they play. That was, and you know what? Trust me, a ref is not going to call five times the same foul on a player consecutively, and they knew that. Right. Maybe, yeah, maybe they would get called once. But the second time, no. And then the third time, maybe. And then the third and fourth, you know? So they they played the odds, and it usually worked out for uh, them and the, their Serbian team. I remember in 2014, they certainly gave the USA one, one of their best runs for their money. Uh, Australia obviously played them the toughest in the semifinals. But Serbia really did play well. And you knew they had played well at the Eurobasket women the year before, 2013. And then they played strong at the World Cup in 2014. And then the next year, they won the FIBA Women's Eurobasket in Budapest. And ever since then, Serbian basketball, with the exception of not making it to the World Cup in 2018, has been right around the top. So they are number 10 in the world rankings. Korea are number 14. I, I wouldn't consider, it seems like the gap between those two countries should be bigger, but maybe uh, those World Cup points that Serbia missed out on by not making it to the World Cup back in 2004, 2018. And if you look at Korea, I mean, they are at almost all of the internet, major internet World Cups and Olympics. Yeah. They don't necessarily do but, well, but they're they're still there. And they're still representing, and that counts. And if you look also now at how Japan are, how China play, yep. and also the fact that Australia are in Asia, exactly. You know, suddenly, uh, what used to be almost guaranteed a top three finish, now it's like you're competing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw New Zealand in there, and it's a, a little bit of a different story now. So, Serbia fans, uh, messaging away hoping uh, they bring some good luck here to uh, their national team as they try to get a victory on game day one. I'm sure uh, falling to Korea at home would be the furthest thing from their mind. But this is international basketball and anything can happen. And there's no, honestly, smarter more intelligent probably basketball fan than the basketball fans in Serbia. You're talking about the arguably the number one hotbed in Europe. Maybe women's basketball not, but for basketball, it certainly uh, ranks in the top. Yes. I would so, say top two, top three. What a start by Anderson. Well, yep, we are underway second half, and Stankovic picks up the ball and puts it up and in. And you have to be disappointed if you're the Korea coach. And again, the defense is what often does things for Serbia. Now they've got Chajo way back, so three-point shot. Does not fall, and the rebound again for Serbia. Lee Sewell, who missed that three. And Anderson. Suddenly, it is looking ominous for Korea. shots aren't falling for Korea, it becomes really complicated for them. But where they made some progress was they picked up their own defense at the end of the first half, and that's where it really goes. You get a steal. Uh, Kim Gamby. She's got Chacho chasing, and she's going to take it all the way. Boy, what a finish that was with her left hand.
Chajo, Anderson, Stankovic, Nogic. Skoric on the court right now, and good defense from Park Jisoo. Interesting that she started with Stankovic and not with Krajnik. I mean, what a finish. Goodness me. Good job there by Bay. Bay, hey, hey, Yoon. Hey, hey, hey. What have we here? understand what uh, Sasha Chajo was trying to do there. I think she may be exaggerated a little bit trying to draw the offensive foul, but the ref didn't go for it. So Bay makes the free throw. And what was a nine point lead. Suddenly just four. <laughs> So Ken Damdy fouls, fighting through the defense there. A little bit of excessive contact. And you know, you talked about how Nogic is getting the start over uh, Servin Dekic. I mean, she, she was their leading scorer in that first half. Servin Dekic, you know, not getting a lot of looks. is only 0 for 3, 0 points. Why not? Why not go ahead and go ahead and start with the player who had the hot hand for your team who weren't shooting the ball particularly well. Now Stankovic called for the foul. I like the fact that Kim Danby is uh, getting her feet wet, getting into the lane, attacking. Good things are happening. Even if she's not getting to the rim, she's drawing the foul and getting to the line. You know, the last couple of possessions here, we've seen Korea try and attack the basket instead of just settling for outside shots. And good things happen when they stay aggressive and try and attack. And it's a two-point game, and Kim Danby has been right at the heart of all that is good. For Korea. Good block by Park Jisoo, and her teammates get on their feet over there, cheering her on. Look at this. Stankovic uh, getting a taste of her own medicine. She's usually the one doing the shot swatting. Chacho. Wow, that was big time. Good shot by her. Stankovic, I think, is going to pick up another foul. Four point lead for Serbia, and Park Jisu gets rejected. Gets it back. Kim Danby over to Khan and travels. And again, for me, that started with the defense of Stankovic. And we saw her, you know, she's getting a start here in the third quarter. She, she came off the bench in the first half, but I thought she was a difference maker, especially defensively. And she's con continued that stellar defense on Jisoo Park, who is probably one of the best young post players in Asia right now. Yeah, Park, she yeah. has completely taken Park out of the game so far. Nogic steps to the left, has a hand in the face. Bang. Here comes Park. And Park. Jisoo with setting the screen, whistled for the foul. Serving 
Jokic did a good job there, exaggerating the contact. <laughs> Scream by Park. Well, Servant Dakic has the ball now. Now it's Chacho. Nogis makes the pass to Servant Dakic. And she gets one of the drops. She's just too good to not play well at at any point in the game. Yeah, exactly. She I, had a I, poor first half. And I thought she was actually well defended and on off. that possession. And now uh, Bay called for a push. <laughs> so Korea called timeout. They are dangerous, but right now they're struggling. A couple of offensive fouls in a row. That's a bit disappointing for them. You know, they only had five turnovers. Now they're already at nine. With still five minutes, 46 seconds left in this third quarter. I think the pressure, when Serbia picks up their defensive pressure, they really struggle offensively with that, with that kind of defense. Park. I think she is one of the best young players. She played 19 minutes tonight, one for five, two points. She does have nine rebounds, but keep in mind this is a player who shot, you know, 46% at the Olympics, 10 rebounds, 13 points, averaged a double double in her three games at the Olympics. So, played WNBA. Yeah, uh, she is someone who has pedigree. Exactly. I think should. Should be able to do a little bit more for Korea in this game. Well, she was, I think she was 15 in 2014 when she was almost unstoppable. And the big concern then was that she was playing far too much, at least on the outside, people that, I don't know, really fully understood what was going on, but there were, there were people wondering if she was playing too much, too many big minutes against uh, at this level. And the foul called. Topuzovic comes into the game. Brian Anderson, who got that steal at the start of the third quarter. Khan gets it to Park. Here she goes. She's been listening to you, Shona. She turns. She goes up. Oh, and Krajicic gets the swat. And Park Jisoo's like, don't you know who I am? You can't be doing this, but Serbia have definitely caused her the sort of problems that we just haven't seen Park have. Kind of like Tolu earlier today blocking uh, Erica, wasn't it? She's just not effective down in that low post. Yeah. Park. She has the game to step outside. Sarah Dakic and the foul called on Kaiznik this time. Like there was a lot of uh, holding there by Korea on that, that replay. Uh, but we probably uh, came in maybe a little late. Now Park Jaehoon is back in the game, and she caused a lot of problems. But look at this defensive uh, play, though. And Nogic and Boy. They are going to be disappointed they didn't score there. Now the pass up to Park. And Danby. Did they not get points on that? 
Faye, bounce pass. What a catch by Park. Pump fake, steps back. Great moves, but the finish isn't there. Kevin Dakic, again, gets it to Stankovic. Over to Anderson. Stankovic rebounds, no, couldn't quite get it. And Park ran into uh, the Serbian Kabusovic. And here is Park dropping down the lane. She follows up the miss, gets it to her teammate, Faye. Again, I mean, Park, she has not found oh. an easy, oh, a travel call. Coach of Korea just uh, seething. Watch this. See if you can see it. Catches it there. Yep. I think she's right. Yeah, ball, ball was not dribbled. Didn't hit the ground before she picked up her pivot, but. Anderson. Oh, what a box out. Cross court, Park for three. Oh, she nails it. It's a three-point game. Park with the spark. She can shoot him in the dark. Look at that. They have had some timely three-pointers, haven't they? I mean, if you watch this Korean bench and the way that they celebrate and get excited for their teammates, it's great. I love to see it. Well, Park has, Heijin has scored nine points, all nine from three-point land. And as a team, Korea shooting it better from three-point range, six of 12 and uh, three of 10 for Serbia. Three-point shot has uh, helped them stay in the game here against the Serbians. Yeah, it really has, Jeff. I mean, and every time you feel like Serbia's going to start to run away with it, Korea can come up with But also the defense. They're making some good plays here. Bounce pass. Park Jisoo out of the game right now. Oh, what a give and go that was. And good rebound, but the turnover, Jin. Servadakic gets to the baseline and fouled by Bay. from the drop. Sometimes you just got to fight through the, the doldrums a little bit. Yeah, you find zero your points game. at half. Ooh. Four points so far. Ooh, did they get over in time? Just in the nick of time. Yoon. Ooh. Oh, she gets swatted. How good has Stankovic been tonight defensively? 
I think one word will do for that. Very. <laughs> Here's Servan Dockets. Nice spin. Now Servan Dockets finding her way. And the pass, perhaps. What's the reward there by making that pass? If she catches it, what's she going to do? Yeah. Either way, you're in a tough situation. Stankovic now with uh, three blocks. Well, I can count all three then. I thought she had more than that. I thought she had more than that too. But she's definitely altered, I mean, at least part shots. Yeah. Yes, she has. Park, uh, maybe she's not blocking them, but she's definitely altered them. Well, Krajnik also has some blocks. And a foul called with two blocks for Krajnik. Oh, they were so close. Korea they had possession down three. Down three. Turn the ball over. Missed layup opportunity first. Seven Dockers, meanwhile, scored about six points. Moments like these where Korea have been able to bail themselves out by hitting a three-pointer. And uh, Katanich called for a push. Korea. Both teams over the limit, yeah. so free throws. So Choi brings a little bit of joy to the team with the first and not the second. So short-lived joy, just a one of two. And again, eight points is the difference. Servan Dockett spins. Got into a little bit of trouble, able to get it to Nogic for three! And again, a chance for Serbia, who now lead it by 11 points. The dump to Stankovic. And a little wraparound pass. And Tabusovic, 13 points. That lead has grown fast. Fast and quick. <laughs> yep. You know, it felt two minutes ago, Korea were only down three. Is a, a much needed three pointer drilled by Choi. Final 19 seconds. Do they want to take it so early? Sarvan Dakic. Well, they're giving Korea perhaps the last possession if they decide to hold on to it. Moon inside the gin, and she makes it. And that They'll settle for the two. They would have liked a three, but when you're struggling, if you can just keep the scoreboard ticking over and getting it back to an eight-point deficit, sends them to the bench with a little bit of momentum. It's at the end of three quarters. Serbia, 54, Korea, 46. I mean, it's a three-point shooting by Korea that's keeping them in this game, not shooting well from two points. Serbia, same thing. I haven't really seen them catch their rhythm for consecutive possessions on end. You know, yeah, two or three in a row. And then a few bad plays, a few bad turnovers, bad shots. So really, I don't think Serbia are playing up to the level that, or the potential that they could. And Korea, I mean, they were down 13 with 20 seconds left. 
And now they're only down eight going into the fourth quarter. So they're not going away. Is there any reason to bring Park Jisoo back into the game at all when you think that maybe the rest would do her better? Although they play in two days, so. Exactly, so she's gonna have a day off tomorrow. She's played I mean, she's giving you some. minutes. She is giving you, if she isn't scoring, she is doing other things to help you. Yeah, offensive rebounding, rebounding in general. She, you know, she is defending, but she only has two points, one of seven shooting. I kind of, what do you do? Do you put her in, give her another chance to maybe try and get her confidence back up? Move it, to move forward as well. But I do think this game by no means is anywhere close to being over, especially not when you're playing against a good three-point three, three point shooting team. Well, you have 10 minutes left and you're only down eight, Jeff. And guess what? Park Jisoo is coming into the game. So, there you go. Coach heard you. Well, you are the premier player in your country. Yeah. And you got to figure it out. That's basically what it boils down to. I mean, maybe the coach has to tweet something that gives you some different looks or try to create some mismatches. Uh, but Serbia's then her match, Stankovic and also uh, Krajnik. So from a foul trouble standpoint, three fouls apiece for Bay and Jin An. And for four fouls on Chajo, three on Krajnik for Serbia. Fine Anderson rims out, but the rebound by Stankovic. She just does all she has it taken away. What a play by Park. Yeah, great shot defensive play there by Park. He thought Stankovic was going to come up with another type of hustle play that we've seen her do all game. Yeah, she just has to realize she can't stand there and hold the ball, not with Korea around. And that's hard to, hard to understand how Kim Danby can play so well and miss that shot. And, you know, this is an... I, Kim Danby, she's made a couple nice moves to the basket, but Korea have missed a lot of easy little layups and shots around the basket. Kubusevic. And Yvonne Anderson in there rebounding with the Giants, keeping it alive and comes back to Serbia. Bounce pass, Stankovic, and she comes up holding this eye. Here's Park Jisoo, and two free throws coming as Servan Dokic stepped a little too late in front of Park. Yep, that's a good call. you know, a much better, I would Ooh. say, second half than she did first half. The bank is open. Did yeah. you see that, <laughs> Shona? Well, you know, things happen. It is 10-21 in Belgrade, and Park Jisoo just banked in a free throw. Let's see, if she does this one the same, then she meant to do it. I think she did. I think she did. It's been that kind of night. What are they from the line tonight? Korea are 8 of 11, so they've done pretty well overall. Good defense, and late whistle, foul called on Park. You see the Korean players and coach complaining, we have this advantage. Woo. Yeah, you can understand why, that fa why the frustration. It's a lot of ball. That was, but you know what? <laughs> it's a tough call, but uh, I like to always say they even out over the course of the game. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, I, I know there's still a lot of game left to be played, and it's a close game, a tight game, but I don't think you could say that the refs have favored no. one team more than the other. No, not at all. They've done a good job. On a hold, called on Tabusevic. Holding. It's Anderson, no? Oh, Anderson, sorry. I saw him hold up the two, and then Tabusevich just uh, accidentally hit Anderson in the face. Yeah. 
Kim Bambi with the team trailing by nine points. Plenty of time though, eight and a half minutes. Hart fakes the handoff. Is she going to try to go? Nope, she's going to hand it off again. Ooh, traveling. Park kind of tried to stop and then dragged her foot, her right foot. Yoon will return to the fray. As you look at, yeah, that's a clear drag by Park Hae-jun. Away with Sarah Vandakic from Dockage. Fell down, got back up. Here's Nogic. Oh, what a finish. I don't want to say she's been a revelation, but she has certainly uh, earned her dinner tonight. I think everybody knows she's a good player. Coming off the bench, she has given them a major lift. No, oh, absolutely, Jeff. And she, she definitely has not been shy. She's let the game come to her, but she's taken those shots. Good shot, good block by Park. Logan's with 13 points. Now in the corner, will this be one of those threes? Nope, it will not. Kong can't really get it to drop tonight. She's only hit one three. One of six. Again, Nogic, short, long rebound. Kim. Kim Danby pulls up at the stripe. And again, Korea, they're not backing down. Every time you feel like Serbia has the momentum, Korea comes back, hits a stop. They hits a shot. Sorry, they definitely need to get a few consecutive stops and scores in a row. I feel like they need a couple of threes in a row or something. Yeah. But first it starts on defense, and it's about getting stops, right? Well, they're going to get the stop there. So they have had a couple of stops. They got the block from Park, and there they forced the turnover. So Scordich and Chacho, the more veteran players, coming back into the game, number 24 and number 6. Chajo. Chajo goes back. He's coming up uh, close to a decade, I think, with the national team. Yeah, on and off. She does have four fouls. She's been on the bench for a while now. And the bump by Anderson. This is interesting. Now, this is the third team foul on Serbia, so... You have to be careful. It's not something you want to do is to yeah. get in, give Korea a bonus, Early. stop the clock. Yeah, absolutely, especially if you're struggling a little bit to put points on the board. and they're going to call the foul. Potential three-point play. Great pass, backdoor cut. So, Seren Dokic, just a little bit out of position, wasn't she? She's kind of playing the handoff. You know, I really think Serbia, if you look at them historically, they definitely anticipate on defense. Yeah. So they take those risks. Right. So you should have some backdoor cuts and whatnot. Exactly. Uh -oh, Park is a, an exciting player. She's got eight points now. Anderson has the pass tapped away. Yoon on open court. And team foul. Have they called the foul on They've Korea? The foul, I believe, on Korea. Late foul call. They called that on you, and that is 
And the thing is, she was already, she had already taken two, three dribbles after the point of that was a little weak. inadvertent contact. I don't like to say that opinion. too often, yeah. but that was kind of like, are you serious? Yeah. How do you call that? That's anyway. A, that, that's a tough call going against Korea right now. Yeah, they just, we were just talking about how they had to play great defense. And the coach is coming out to ask as well. I mean, again, you can't argue every call, but you can ask for an explanation. And I think, you know, right now we get to see the, the Korean coach is frustrated and she wants an explanation and the referees are not giving her one. I understand Coach uh, Jong's uh, frustration here from Korea. I mean, that call was very late. I mean, if you're going to call it, it should have been yeah. called at the point of, you know, when when the ball was stolen. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, maybe from his angle, it looked more like a foul. So you can't. But it, it did seem a bit fortunate for Serbia that that foul was called. But again, you always go back. These things even out over the course of the game and over the course of the tournament. Here's Anderson. She hits a jump shot. That'll make it hurt even more, but Park Jisoo gets the rebound. And foul called on Krajnik. That's it. Is she not gone? Oh, that's four. Okay. Fourth personal. No, yeah. Krajnik has four. And you could argue that, you could probably argue that is not a foul as well. So, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, we talked about this earlier, these refs will be reviewed immediately after the game. They'll go through the tape and everything, and, and they'll, you know, they'll, if they've been judged not to have made the right call, they'll be told. Oh, they'll be told. I mean, it's the only way you learn as well, right? You have to be critiqued. But, Jeff, I mean, more importantly, there's five minutes and 49 yeah. seconds left in this game. And for the rest of the way, Korea is going to be a bonus. And Park Jisoo just missed her second free throw. She banks in that one. So she clearly does not feel, she doesn't feel right. She's banking in the free throws. <laughs> That's all I can say. I mean, five points now the difference, though. Overall, I think she's playing better, though, Park. There she is. She switches. Now Krajnik. Goes back to Park Jisoo, has to get rid of it to Nogic, and she stepped out of bounds. And now Korea has it, and you can feel the unease Again, a nice, in uh, the arena. Possession. It is quiet for Serbia. Ranko Zerbica Sports Hall is, is very close to hearing a pin drop right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree. I'm not used to this here. Here's Park. Is she going to make the bounce pass again? Here's Park. And she's going to take the jump shot. Get the rebound falls, and here comes Anderson. And she is fouled by Kim Danby. You almost feel like Park is struggling so much offensively that she just almost just wants to be the, the player that, that makes the pass that yeah. leads to the basket. I mean, in that last, you know, that last possession, that outside shot by Park, I don't think that's the best shot that Korea could have had. Shot clock was still only around 10, 10 yeah. 11. You know, continue to play, to continue to move, make, a, make them have to defend you a little bit longer. Maybe you'll have a closer look or a look for one of your shooters. Park is one of eight. Park Jisoo, one of eight from the floor. Anderson, meanwhile, goes one of two. It's a six-point game. That's a couple of threes. And Anderson 
Oh boy, she is now. She's got. That's only her third. I thought she had more than that. But again, you're going to the free throw line. So, yep, you're right. But Anderson has three. Chajo and Krajnik each with four fouls. And Park. Here she is. Definitely giving this team a lift tonight, as you would expect. And she gets both of them to drop. And here they are, hanging around. So Strudich goes back out, serving Dockage in for the stretch run. Yeah, really just a good job by Korea every time. Kevin Dockett's also with four fouls. So they've got three players on the court right now with four fouls. And Anderson, who has the ball, has three fouls. Seven Dockett gets down to the baseline, gets it to Krajnik. And makes a tough shot. And an offensive foul called on. Krajnik. So that's going to be her fifth. Wow. Take a look, Jeff. Sure we're... So was it the movement of her her arm after the shot? She couldn't control herself. So I don't know. Anyway. Chato knocks it away. Chases it. Can't get it. Kim Danby now. They've got numbers. Here comes Korea. Ooh, almost a travel by Korea. And traveling is indeed the call. I thought she traveled before that. Missed opportunity, I think, by Korea. Watch this right here. Ah, oh, she jumped. Surely. Just four points separate these two teams. And coming up on the four minute mark in the game. Again, and Jeff, let's not forget, I mean, three out of these four teams are going to go to this summer Women's World Cup. A win tonight, a win tonight is Whoa. Huge <laughs> a huge step in qualifying. Chief Park Ji Soon gets it to drop. So, yeah, two of the three other than Australia. Yeah, sorry, three. two of the three other than Australia. So, so Australia winning today. Has helped both of these teams. Yes. Here's yeah. Park, though. She's been ice cold. Whoever okay. wins tonight. Two point game. Exactly. Park. We're not defending. We're not defending. And again, we're missing. What can I draw you? 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 Hey! Hey! Look at the time. Look at the time. Look at the score. Hey! Diamond! Diamond! Diamond. Yvonne, come out! Sasha, call me! Sasha, call me! Yvonne, come out! Seven! Quick! Call me! Call me! Call me! Call me! Call me! Call Okay, look to attack. We need we need to drive from this one. From one, from that. There is another of the former internationals for Serbia. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. It <laughs> Yeah, I'll find it, don't yeah, worry. Sorry. And we just saw during that timeout, uh, I mean, obviously, Coach uh, Malkovich not too happy with the players, but you also saw on the screen the foul trouble that, that the Serbian players have. So we've already seen Tina Krajnik go to the bench with five oh, fouls. And another oh, turnover, turnover coming out of the timeout. And a chance for Park, Yoon, 
And I think one thing that was lost in that timeout is you look at the go ahead three pointer for Korea. The one thing that was lost in that in that timeout with Chad's sense of urgency for Malkovich is the reality is they're playing Korea, and Korea is a difficult team to face. Yeah. So, yeah, you're not playing great, but you're playing Korea, and that's the problem. And right here, I mean, Serban Dekic, I don't think that kind of ref three a little off balance was absolutely necessary. She almost got a foul trying to go after her, the offensive rebound as well. So is this where you're really now realizing not having... Passage. Oh, oh boy, a turnover, a bad turnover, and Ivan Anderson goes in and puts Serbia back in front. So not having the experience of Yelena Brooks, Sonia Vasic, Netsa Jovanovic, yeah. Dabovic, those are experienced players. I'm not saying these five players from Serbia. Butalia, that's who we were saying. Yes. And an offensive rebound, saved it in bounds. Again, Korea, Park, and here is Park. And Serbia get to the the basketball. Chajo has it with two minutes to go. Butalia, that was it. She's uh, Diana Butalia was a huge player uh, for Serbia for so many years. Nogic! And what a rebound by Stankovic. But then her pass, and that's going to be a backcourt violation. Great gotta, offensive rebound. Yeah, you got to love the just... effort. You gotta love the effort. I, I, you know, she's just made a bad pass, but Stankovic has eight points, nine rebounds, and three block shots tonight. I'm not gonna falter for her performance. No, and you know, obviously Stankovic is an is experienced player, but I'm just talking about the players that they don't have here. What did they want to look at here at time? Even though Serbia... Care for any type okay, of view, two, three points in the corner. Uh, please go back and uh, put the normal speed. Okay? Okay. Uh, conclusive is three points. We stay with three points, number six in the corner. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I didn't think that was, that was going to be an issue. Okay. Three pointer, then. Okay, let's go. Both coaches trying to take a little advantage here of the uh, of the, the timeout. Replay, timeout by Having the referees. Who's going to make a play for Korea? This is the question. Both both teams, both coaches, Korea and Serbia, have a one timeout left. Keep in mind, Serbia have been playing in that bonus situation. So if Korea are aggressive and draw foul, you know they're going to go to the free throw line. Thank you. going for the steal there. And Park to see who puts it on the deck, and she travels. Oh no, two foul fouls called on Stankovic. Oh, oh. No, I think it. Yeah, if she didn't travel before that, definitely. No gitch. Foul on no gitch. Yeah. And this 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 means another adventure at the free throw line from Park Jisoo, where she has not distinguished herself tonight. She's two of four. She's banked both of her free throws in. Well, she's trying to bank this one in. She shoots them. Even her misses, they've been banks. She's knocking on the bank, I like it. It's kind of old school, it is isn't old it? So she does indeed put her team back in front. And despite her struggles, uh, she's making some big plays here late. Tell you what, if Korea were to get a win tonight, it would be huge for their basketball. Imagine winning in Serbia. Now driving, Stankovic drives in, misses Yoon. Ball knocked out of her hands. Here comes Park. Still lots of time. You don't want to turn the ball over. Try and get a good offensive possession here for Korea. Ch Serbia, the last thing you want to do is foul. Chacha reaching in. She's got the four fouls, don't forget. And then now that was not the right play. Park Jisoo made, tried to make a tough pass, but even had she caught it, what was she going to do with it? Yeah, 
Good defensive possession by Serbia. They're not backing down even though they're in foul trouble. It's coming down to the wire and Stankovic hits the jump shot right at the free throw line. And you have to be happy for her because she was probably feeling a little bad about that previous turnover. And yet she has played so well. And she took that shot with Park Ji Soo yeah. right in her grill. So Big time Korea. play. And Pedrex uh, Danilovic is the Serbian Federation president, the legend. So, well, no more timeouts for Korea. By the way, uh, Dragana Stankovic, 10 points, 10 rebounds. Great game. I mean, defensively. Three blocks, two steals. She's, uh, again, okay, she's had a, a few turnovers, but you can live with that with uh, everything else that she's brought to the team tonight. Yeah, I wish we had a category for how many shots by Korea she adjusted defensively. You know, she has the three blocks, but like you and I said, it felt like she should have at least five or six right now. Well, just a little more optimism here. You can feel it from the crowd. And now the... The pressure is back on Korea. What an opportunity for Korea if somehow they could get a win here in hostile territory. Be a huge boost for them as they try to get to the World Cup. Park Ji Soo puts it on the deck, and this time. No foul, wow. ball goes out of bounds, one but just 1.4. Wow. And I think not a good sign here. We have Stankovic down on the ground grabbing. Do you think that? Her lower leg. She immediately grabbed her right knee. Her knee or her, her 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 leg? It's a good question, but it's everybody's uh, hoping uh, that Stankovic is going to be okay. It just so happens that she has uh, been the star performer tonight. So as the crowd looks on, gives the applause and watches to see what the situation is. She's going to be helped off, so she's in some... Is it, okay, that's is a it, good sign that she's at least putting a pressure. small amount of weight. But the thing is, Jeff, look who's checking into the game. It's a Number Secretary General Andreas Sacklis as well. Yep, who's checking in? Number Kibusevich. 51. Or no, it's uh, Georgievich. Yeah, who hasn't really played today because Kreisnik has those five fouls. That's right. So Kreisner cannot check in. Oh, they get a good look, and she put up an air ball. And now, the problem that Korea has is there's 23.7 seconds remaining. And they're down one. And they're down one. So I suppose they will not foul. They will try to get a steal. But if they don't get a steal. You have to foul. With, but when do you foul? With like 10 seconds left or something, if you don't get the steal? There's no more, they don't have any more timeouts, so they're going to have to give themselves an opportunity to get the ball up the court. So you don't want to wait too long not to foul. Yeah. The other thing is they're not in the bonus yet, so they've got to foul again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So right now, here you go aggressively, you try and get the steal. If not, I think you have to foul. I think maybe with Georgevich just checking in the game, that might be the player that you want to foul. Don't, you know, Anderson 
clearly tonight not has not been great at the line either. She's one of four. And now you got to get her. What are you doing? You got to get her. You got to foul yeah. her. I don't think she's aware. They left way too much time go off the clock. Korea did not know what they were doing in that situation. I mean, they've got 6.8 seconds left, but that, I think that's. It took seven seconds off the clock then. Yeah. The good thing is, this Korean team is a very good three-point shooting team. They've shot the ball well tonight from three, but also historically in general, they're a good three-point shooting team. But they may just need it too, the way Anderson has shot free throws tonight. She's one. True. But one the other thing four, is, yeah. they got to get the rebound. And you do have Park on the floor. You got Park and. Great rebounder. Anderson rattles in for first. You also got Park. Uh, it's time. Excuse me. Uh, Park Ji Hun has checked into the game as well, number one. And Park. She sues in there, so. And this time, she does take her time. There's the guy, you gotta get the three, or they're gonna foul him so they don't let him take it. Nope, they get the block shot, and that's how it finishes incredibly. Well, Serbia's defense in the end, and no surprise, Chacho is the one that makes the play. Saves the day. We don't know if it would have been in anyway, but Serbia survived 65 62. Korea were so close, but they couldn't spring the upset tonight. Just a, a dramatic win. Serbia, no, they probably have to play better, but the vital thing was to get the win at home tonight to take a big step towards the World Cup. A loss, you don't know how that might have spiraled out of control. And now it's Korea that's going to have to rebound and come back and battle it out in, in a bid. The good thing is it's not a, a terrible point differential for them, but uh, you would imagine Serbia would be favorites against Brazil as, as well. So it could come down to Korea beating Brazil. Uh, but they, uh, they gave us a thrill tonight, Korea and Serbia, and we're hopeful that Dragana Stankovic is going to be okay. She left the game late. She was the star performer. I mean, you know, they lost by three. They shot the ball well. Korea, 50%. Neither team, I think, shooting the ball exceptionally well tonight. Serbia out rebounding. I mean, 47 rebounds in a game is a lot, Jeff. Both teams. 20 turnovers. The score indicates the same thing the statistics do. How good and how close of a game it was. It was really, you know, you, you talk about how basketball is a game of runs, and I think this game tonight was definitely an example of that. Well, Serbia will be breathing, breathing a sigh of relief. And uh, Yvonne Anderson hitting a couple of big free throws at the end to kind of not ice it, but to, to help them get to the finish line. Saw that jump shot that she made. She finished with 13 points. She and Nogic led Serbia each with 13. Uh, really, Korea. It really felt like they were gonna spring it late, didn't it? Yeah. You felt kind of, I think, when they, they got into bonus early in that fourth quarter, like, okay, they have a chance to get back in this game, and they did. They, they took the lead, let's not forget. They took the lead by one late in the fourth quarter, and then they just couldn't convert. You know, less than a minute left, they said this possession no matter what, you don't want a turnover. And sure enough, that's what happened. And I really, I think they, I think Korea missed, missed a big opportunity tonight to maybe have caused the biggest upset of the day. Well, I think, I think they definitely missed the opportunity. And I think if you look back at the big upsets or the big results in Korean basketball, that would have been one of their biggest results. 
for many a year, yeah. I think. Um, I mean, they have made it, you know, to, to, to beat a team of Serbia's cali caliber in Serbia would have really uh, lifted their program. So I think they'll still like their chances going up against Brazil. And I suppose, I mean, you never know. Brazil could always spring an upset. It, dep it really depends how the two teams uh, respond after uh, struggling through the opening day. Yeah. Uh, Brazil and Serbia and also Korea. So, but it really did feel like uh, Korea had had their uh, their big moment tonight. It was there for the taking, and they just did not take it. Park Jisoo did play a little bit better late. She did a lot of good things right, but she really struggled uh, going up against the bigs. So at the end of game day one here in Belgrade, tournament A, Australia and Serbia up at the top, and Korea and Brazil down at the bottom after those two games. 65-52, Australia won over Brazil. 65-62 over Korea, which we just witnessed. And remember, Australia already have their spot in the World Cup. So it is Korea... Serbia and Brazil battling for two of the other three spots for the 12th team World Cup that will be played in Australia later this year. Thanks for watching, everybody.